Good afternoon, Glenn. Uh, welcome to Fortune Bay Resort Casino, and uh, thanks for checking in on the progress of our portable sauna. Uh, before we get into some questions, can you please give us a little background on yourself and your involvement with sauna times? Sure. Uh, well, it goes way back. It goes back about uh, 30 years where I lived in Scandinavia for some time uh, and really got affected uh, to the positiveness, the, how great authentic saunas are. And growing up in upstate New York, sauna is not even a word. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I moved to Minnesota. And I became a 218 taxpayer, northern Minnesota, uh, before a 612 taxpayer, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Uh, awesome. All right. And how did you get involved with this particular project here at Fortune Bay? Well, oddly enough, uh, one of the things that really attracted me to the Northland, not just the topography that reminded me so much of Scandinavia, but Daryl Lampa, the third generation Finnish stove maker, whose factory is right here four miles pretty much as the crow flies from where we're, we're sitting. And uh, I've probably bought myself, uh, well, I have two Kuma stoves. Uh, uh, made from Lampa Manufacturing Tower, Minnesota. I've probably purchased another 10 uh, in, in building and helping others build their own. And I'd like to think I've helped uh, sell many more through Sauna Times. And uh, how many portable sauna projects have you been involved with? And are, are they all similarly built or is there a wide array of portable sauna styles? Yeah, the short answer on that is probably four or five. Um, the first one was one I built myself to bring around to uh, polar plunges, ice hockey tournaments. Uh, that was in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And um, so mobile sauna is in my, in my blood. I love the idea that you could take great heat, authentic wood burning sauna to the people uh, at events, festivals, parties, and celebrating our winter, celebrating our climate. So short answer about four or five, including, and I wanna mention the 612 sauna where I was lead builder uh, and I'm, I sit on the board of the 612 Sauna Society, uh, founded by John Peterson, wonderful guy, sharing a vision with me. Um, and this sauna is comparable to that. It's, uh, it's, the construction is utilizing the a base of a fish house, which allows for full portability. Awesome. And I guess, um, <clears throat> can you just please describe some of these concepts that you're familiar with and how does this one stack up against yeah. the one that you've seen? Right on, right on. So I did mention about the fish house chassis, <clears throat> which is a fundamentally important thing. And, and this is another element uh, with a fish house. The technology with fish houses now is they allow for uh, hydro, uh, allowing the, the wheels to drop so that your structure is sitting on grade. This is a critical thing because part of, as we all know with authentic sauna experiences, it's not just about the hot room, and it's also not just about the change room. It's also about outside and nature. And we're able to tie in the continuity of these three, three temperate zones, hot, cooling down, super cool in winter, but we're able to do that on one plane. And there's some, you know, you don't think it a big deal normally to have to like step down to go somewhere, but it, when you experience everything on one level, uh, it really helps with the continuity of uh, the authentic sauna experience, multiple zones. Awesome. All right. And I guess, do you think this concept will be popular with our guests looking to try something unique while paying a visit to the Lake Vermilion area? I think, I mean, there's a, there's a couple of things. Health and wellness is becoming a huge deal with younger folks and even folks of, of age. You know, uh, there's studies that have come out that talk about uh, the reduction of Alzheimer's. Uh, um, it's really great for the heart, uh, extending one's life. But younger people are getting really hip to that. And so there's a whole health and wellness angle. I mean, people don't want to sit, you know, inside and, you know, and smoke and drink all day. They want to recreate. And sauna allows for that. More importantly, or as important, you could say, is the cultural identification of sauna and what it means to this community in northern Minnesota. Uh, you yourself have a sauna in, in, you know, by the lake. Uh, what we're bringing is this centuries-old tradition that is alive in northern Minnesota to Fortune Bay, and there's a lot of great cultural implications for this sauna with guests coming to the resort. I mean, we all believe in what I call field verification, and what we do in building this sauna is we make decisions on site. <clears throat> bench location, window locations. We have a basic framework in which to work, but this is like, like arts. This is... We start with an empty canvas and we build from that. And I think great art is, uh, is, is made 
with a song like this by collaborating and working together. And uh, the finished product, that's one end, finished product, yeah. but you could call it two ends if you want. Yeah. This, my goal with, uh, with every sauna that I put my hands on is that every Finn will leave the hot room with a smile on their face. Awesome. And I guess other than the obvious, uh, what's the advantage of going with a wood sauna stove as opposed to an electric sauna stove with a project like this? Well, functionally, uh, a mobile sauna with wood means you can sauna anywhere. We are designing this sauna so that it need not, have, need, not need electricity to be awesome and fully functional. Uh, a little element like right here is what's called the candle window. This is a centuries old tradition when building saunas such, such that there's continuity between the hot room and the changing room and you put a, a small candle here in a window and you have enough illumination so that you're, you know, it's, it's light enough in, in, the, in the hot room at night. Um, so wood burning allows for that, like complete mobility, but there's a great argument and I am a huge proponent of the quality of heat that comes out of wood and it has to, a lot to do with thermal mass and I'll leave it like this. What's, what makes better eggs, uh, a Teflon frying pan or a cast iron frying pan? And once you start to think about that consciousness about heat and thermal mass, what's better heating your house, forced air or radiant heat where the whole slab is warm? Those are the kind of foundations that wood burning allows us to enjoy with our saunas. Awesome. All right, and I guess um, for those looking to build their own portable sauna, uh, I guess what's the best way for them to get started to, uh, to determine size, stove sure. type, design, etc. Well, there's a lot to that. Like the portability of sauna works great when you think of young people. Uh, a lot of them are renting, not owning. A lot of them are like really into the sauna that's so much better than uh, say a health club sauna or God forbid an infrared light bulb closet, which is a whole another deal. So the authentic thing can be had really awesome uh, in a mobile deal. One area to start would be considering an 8x12. An 8x12 chassis allows for a 6 foot by 8 uh, foot hot room and then a 6 foot by 8 foot changing room. That's a nice dimension. You can do that on a couple levels, but really I think the game changer has been this fish house chassis element where the wheels and the base uh, become the foundation for building a mobile sauna. Awesome.